Let's bow our head for prayer. Father, you, you are here. You have stirred up love in our hearts for you. It is love from you. Father, make your children happy. Let this whole village know that you are here. Whole city. Know that you're here. Let these ones go with blessing today. Talk to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus. You can be seated. I'm talking to you on believe in the light and walk in it ana ma gogi okun kenasi kwenye ni he ma jegari ani me ya believe in the light and walk in it kwere ni he nke chineke ma jegari ani me ya in the book of matthew chapter 5 na ku ko matthew isi se from verse 13, verse 13 to 16. Ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt lose its taste, ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt have lost his savor, where will shall it be salted? It is thenceforth for good for nothing. But to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. You are the salt of the whole earth. How much more the salt of your community? What does salt do? Very important. Soul, salt give, gives taste to food. Abu iye dio kempa. Abu ni iti ni ge na nonya wuna gaman odege. Oni eme kandi we to to. If you cook your food and there is no 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 there, there's no salt there, many people will not eat. They say there's no salt. Your food is not tasting good. The reason why you, 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 you put salt in food is to make it taste well for the eaters. Your food is not tasting well for the eaters. You are the salt of your community. Do something to make God come to your community. Plan program that will bring God to your community. Do something to make God accept your family. Do something that your wife will be sweet to God. Do something that your husband will be sweet to God and, and attract God. Wonderful. Something has been done in this community. It attracted number one, God. It attracted somebody from India to be here. It attracted somebody from United Kingdom to be here. It attracted people from River State, from Imo State, from Anambra State, from Edo State to be here. And it has attracted somebody from the capital city of Nigeria, Abuja. 
and they put them in the way can Abuja, where can put out on you, Sian in Abuja, where put a no do. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. There is salt in our brother. Ah, one night, okay, even no, 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 he is actually a salt in this community. Praise the Lord. Don't you Be a salt wherever you are. Now, another thing, quality of salt. If you want to preserve fish, put salt there. To keep it from being rotten. So salt is for preservation. To make the thing remain fresh. I praise God for those of you that are in this uh, community, this city, that are working hard to keep God fresh. Among the people. Now I want to ask you this question. Are you laboring and laboring and causing the people to know the word of God, the truth of God, and not to turn away from it? You are the real salt in this community. You are laboring to keep the names of the people in the book of life. I bless God for you. Ministers in this community. I bless God for you. Ministers in holiness revival movement. I bless God for you. Keep on laboring to preserve the souls of men here. Salt has so many qualities. But let's just stop with this to move forward. Now it says, or see. But if the salt have lost his servile, wherewith shall it be salted? If salt ha that has sharp test in it does no, does no more have the sharp test, where do you go to carry a test to put inside this, the salt so that it can regain its own saltiness? It, you taste the salt in your mouth, it is like a sour flower. Because the taste of the salt is no more there. What do you do to turn cassava flower to salt? Is there anything you have to put inside cassava flour so that it can become salt? Then you can put in food. It is then for good for nothing. This is the situation of any man of God, any child of God that has lost connection with God. Many stars in the land that have lost com 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 communion with God, lost fellowship with God, and thenceforth saltless. That is why you find churches with their ministers, but their members are committing sin freely. Why? The ministers have lost connection with God. If you are in holiness revival movement as unit leader, chapter coordinator, whatever, and 
people are still sinning freely under you, you have lost your saltiness. You're not connected with God any longer. You are not in fellowship with God personally any longer. And therefore the virtue, the virtue of sweetness, of taste is not in you. Your people will not be salted by you. God will not be attracted to your people. Because you have lost your saltiness. I pray. God. Who can do miracles. When Lazarus died. And had been in the grave for four days. Who could raise Lazarus back to life? Nobody. Nobody. Not in the world. There has been no history like that. But Jesus said to matter, I am the resurrection and the life. If you believe in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Take me to where they are. And where take me to where, go see me to where you buried him. Go see me and they brought him there. And Martha said, Mata Lord, Onye -onye. this time Oga. he is thinking. I honest, she, she. Jesus said, Jesus was. Did I not say unto you that if ye will believe, you will see the glory of God? This person will come back to life. And I believe God, since Jesus is here, even you that have lost your salvation, there is hope in your life. God will bring you back to himself. God will bring you back to himself. God will restore your life. Say it again. Say it again. Then sinners will have hope to be saved. Then this community will be saved. Now, let's go forward. Matthew chapter 5. Matthew, he says, I read verse, verse 14. Adam, I go here reading now. Ye are the light of the world. Uno, uno, buy him kowa. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Oh, but don't care. We run a new go and I get so yeso. You are the light. No, uno, buy him of the world. Buy him kowa. The first thing, buy him kembo, has noticed. In the beginning, was that darkness covered the face of the earth. Now, the first thing that had happened in this community is that darkness covered everywhere. What darkness? Sin. Evil. Wickedness. Arurala. Idolatry. Iberarusi. You see people serving idols. Sacrificing to idols. And killing one another. In witchcraft. In occultism. Selling people for money. Just to build a house. Sell their mother. Kill their mother. Kill their relations. When the darkness cover the earth. Ah, ah, they have no knowledge of God. And could do anything. But Jesus is saying. You that have known me. 
You that have come to me. You that have heart of me. You that have repented of me. You that have been changed. I leave you in this village. In this town, no, in this city, no, as the light of the community. The light of the community. What is light then? To tell the community the true way of living. That the true way of life is not in money. God is the true way of life. He said, I am the way. And I am the truth. Let the people come to me. Let the people follow my world. That is the light of the world. Bring the people there. So the Lord is saying, you are the light. Go and bring the people out of darkness to myself. The reason why they are killing themselves, they are doing this thing, is because they want to be great in this world. They want to live. They want to be mighty. They want to make money. They want their name to be called. Go and tell them. Those works of iniquity is darkness. I am more than money. Tell them. My name is above every other name. Aham de Lucaria and Diosonile. In me, they have the greatest name. Go and tell them. They can't find peace in those things. I am the peace of the world. Go and lead them to myself. That, go and tell the immoral girls. They are just destroying themselves. They are wasting their lives. I am their protection. I am their supply. I am their comfort. I am their greatness. I will provide for them that which they are looking for. Why witchcraft? They are looking for power. Power to do this. He came and came. Power to do that. Oh, that idol is very powerful. If you go to that idol and sacrifice for it, you will receive power. Go and tell them, I am power. All power belongs to me. I am God in heaven. My this earth is my footstool. Nothing in the earth has power. I match on them. That which you are seeing to be power on earth is where I match. Power comes from heaven. And I will give them. Power comes from heaven. I will give you. That's what God is saying. All this competition you're making in power. You're wasting your time. You just get Jesus. You become the most powerful person. Amen. 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 Now, I will tell you a story. Yes, I think I was in secondary school. Or, yeah, secondary school at that time. I was having dream dreams of attack. It was clear that witches and wizards were looking for me. They thought to kill me. At that time, because I knew little about God, I would use the Bible to put as my pillow. Oh God. Bible. Come and go. I 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 go. I
One time, somebody walked into my room in the night. I'm sure it's an angel. He removed the Bible from my, from my head and pointed it to me. He said, if you have this book, the content of this book, you have got the greatest warrior on earth. I'm just telling you now, if you come to Jesus, and follow Jesus, you are with the greatest warrior on earth. There is no power in heaven on earth or under the earth that can attack you and succeed. Because God is with you. Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. She shall bring forth a son. You will call his name Jesus. Jesus. He will save his people from their sins. He created those people. Sin is their problem. But bring those people to him. He will save them from their sin. You won't commit sin again. You see me? I'm not committing sin. Why? Jesus has saved me. Jesus has put a I'm saved. You hear? I'm saved. As a put a You know there are people who think that everybody is a sinner. Every day say, Jesus forgive me. In the church, they will be they will be praying there. God forgive us. Every day. God is wondering. Uh -uh. You came to hospital that you had fever. The doctors treated you. And everything about you became normal. They used their instrument to test and check up your, your, your uh, temperature. Everything is normal. Then you went back home. They discharged you. You went back home. The following day you came back. What are you coming for? Doctor. You know that, you know that fever you treated? Give me some drugs. Did you feel fever? No, I'm feeling no more. Give me drugs. To do what with it? You know the fever that I gave you? But I has it come back? Huh? No, it has just not come back. Then what are you looking for drugs for? When you come to God after he has forgiven you and changed your life, you're living clean. Why are you asking him to forgive you every day? Why are you asking for forgiveness again? Have you committed another sin? He that is born of God does not commit sin. Then how are you coming every day, every Sunday? God forgive me. God forgive me. Are you born of God? Do you go and commit sin? As for me, I am born of God. And I don't commit sin. I don't steal. I don't tell lies. I don't lust in my heart. I don't, I don't commit adultery. I don't criticize. I don't backbite. I don't fight. What other thing? Tell me. I will say I don't. You say it. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. Hallelujah. Amen. Because God has saved my life. 
If you save your life, you will join me. Today, Tata. you will join me. Because Jesus will save you. Jesus, she shall bring forth a song. And you will call his name Jesus. For he will save his people from their sins. The people he created. This has come, shall come to pass. Oh, this has come to pass as was prophesied. By Isaiah the prophet. Saying. Behold a virgin shall conceive and bring forth a son and they shall call his name everybody Emmanuel. again Emmanuel. which interpreted is which interpretation is when this God is with you where will witches and wizards be Ah, when this God is with you, where will idols be? He will give you power, just as the earth is his footstool, he will give you power to march upon them. Like you just, all you need is Jesus. Just give your life to Jesus. You have the greatest power. As I was told. That if you have this bow. The content of this bow. Which is Jesus. And righteous work. You have gotten the greatest warrior on earth. So. The Bible tells us. In that. Matthew chapter 5. Yes, verse 15. Matthew chapter 5, verse 15. Matthew Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light to all that are in the house. Anagi Amunio Riona, where the bay and the Uri here, come on, the bay and the bay or Riona, go away, Yendin and Onimono. God is saying, People do not light a candle and put it under a, a table. Our concern is, in Agamunio, where does Zoya no Uru bed? And put it under a bed. Eating no Uru, they put it on top of the table. To give life to all the people that are there. To give light so they can see. They should not stumble anymore. That's what God is saying. He's saying to you, a child of God. You are the light of the society. Show it. So that the people should not stumble anymore. The people should not go into sin anymore. God has lighted me. He wants me to go and show the people and shine brightly. So, I should do good works. Let the people see. In verse 16, let your light so shine before men. That they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. This one now is saying, You who say you have come to Jesus, live good life. Live righteous life. Let the people see you and praise God. And say, that person is a true Christian. I had a story concerning Federal University of Technology, Yola, Adam State. Yes. 
a Muslim was talking about a Christian that was passing by. A true Christian. His life was wonderful. His life was good. The Muslim was speaking in a room. I'm pointing to that Christian. The Christian was not even aware. He said, if that man comes to if that man comes to talk to me about Jesus, I will believe. He is a Christian indeed. His character is wonderful. That's what God says you should do. You said you are a pastor. Shine forth the righteousness of God. You say you are a believer. Shine out the righteousness. Again, I had a, of a Sunday school. The teacher was teaching people about the character of Jesus. Very nice. Very loving. Very caring. Gentle. With a smile. A child raised up his arm. I know, I've seen him. You have seen him? Where did you see him? He's a wanibo. There was a Christian living around there. May the power of change come upon your life. That your life will be transformed. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Let your life so shine. By your good character. That men will praise God. You are the light of the world. Go and tell the world the truth. What are you going to tell them? You are going to point them to Jesus. In John chapter 8. Now, John chapter 8. John chapter 8. John yeah, you are going to point them to Jesus. I read from verse 11. Let me read from verse 10. Can go on When Jesus had lifted up himself and saw none but the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where are those thine accusers? Hath no man condemned thee? She said, No man, Lord. And Jesus said unto her, Jesus, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. La neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. In verse 12. Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, Jesus, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness. But shall have the light of life. Okay, you see, Maria? point them to Jesus. He is the one reflecting on you. That's where you're shining now. He is the actual light. Point the people to Jesus. He said, I am the light of the world. He that follows me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have light. Now, listen. This woman was caught in adultery. In the very act. A, woman, a man was on top of her and she was a married woman and the 
pick the ma- they, they came to catch them. The man was stronger. The man warned them if anybody touched me here. So there was nothing to do. <laughs> there was nothing to do with that man. <laughs> If you come like that, everybody <laughs> around. <laughs> so the, the weak one that they caught was the woman. And so they brought the woman to Jesus. I said, this woman should die. This woman should die. What a shame. The whole community, community gathered, gathered before Jesus. With that woman, do you think the woman was standing with her face erect? Her face was. It's likely she used cloth to uncover her face. Oh, For shame. And they say she must die. Who stone her with stone? That is the commandment of Moses. What do you say? Jesus said, Jesus, as I said now, I am the light of the world. I came to forgive people their sins. I came to take away shame from people's lives. I came to take away condemnation from people's lives. I came to take away untimely death from people's lives. I came to defend people against their fellows. Tell the people to come to me. Jesus said, I should tell you to come to him. The community see you as the greatest sinner. Because unfortunately, your sin was done publicly. Your sin was publicly. Something sold up in your eye. And any time people see you, they turn away their face. But look at them. Many people is swelled up in their buttocks. Some people is swelled up in their legs. But cloth cover it. Unfortunately, your own is in the eye. It's the same people. None of them is better than you. I see how human beings behaving. Who kill her? Jesus said, he that has no sin among you. That this thing that is soling in the woman is not soling in any part of your body. Be the first to stone her. Who stone her? They withdrew. They withdrew. Jesus will defend you. Jesus Jesus will forgive Jesus you. Jesus will change you. Jesus He told that woman, Go and sin no more. God has not condemned you. For God sent not his son to condemn the world. But that the world through him should be saved. This is not the time of condemnation. It is the time of salvation. Today, if you hear his voice, respond. You will see salvation. So he said, I am the light of the world. He that follows me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Shall not walk in darkness, shall not walk in sin anymore. All those that follow Jesus are not walking in sin. Except those who don't understand. Except those who are pretending. Except those who love money more than Jesus. More than Jesus. Except those who love immorality more than Jesus. Except those who love power of witchcraft more than Jesus. Otherwise, all that follow Jesus with Jesus. sincere heart don't walk in darkness. The darkness is Satan. He is the prince of this world. 
He is the prince of darkness. He is the one controlling people. Forcing people to do things well, that you don't like. Because he has power, he has grabbed you. But the light of God will shine over the darkness. However small the light is, it disperses darkness. How much if the light is bright? How much more when the light is bright? The bright light of Jesus will shine over you. Come and follow him. Darkness shall be no more. Satan shall be no more in your life. His work shall be no more in your life. In life. Jesus' name. Uh -huh, Jesus. Then what shall they have who follow Jesus? In John chapter 1. Verse 1. John chapter 1. John chapter 1. Verse 1 to verse 4. In the beginning was the world. And the world was with God. And the world was God. The same was in the beginning with God. Here scripture is talking about Jesus. He was the world. The, the, you know, the creation was made by the world. It was the creation came by let there be. That is the world. It, and it was. Already. Jesus was the creator. Jesus. And uh, the Bible says in the beginning he had been there. All things were made by him. You were made by him. Satan was created by Jesus. And without him was not anything made that was made. Without him was nothing made that was made. In him was life. And the life was the light of men. I tell you now. Can you see how life is connected to light? Life is connected to light. The God of life is the God of light. Chineke nkendo bu chineke nkihe life ndo what does me, what does life mean gine kando potara when you tell somebody you're enjoying your life is somebody in a borendo what what are you saying to gine ki na agwa if when somebody says i feel blessed in life mother say hey obi na atomo ta bu onye ma gozire na ndo it means the living that he is living is wonderful ogozire na obi bi ndo ya bu ihe ji e mono when somebody says I find life bitter. I'm suffering in my life. They're torturing my life. What does it mean? He's not living well. But Jesus is the life of light. Jesus Which means if you have light, you will enjoy life. Asugariaya, Torture, suffering, pain, sorrow, sin, bitterness, oppression. Come to Jesus and have life. It means you are going to enjoy the peace of life. You are going to enjoy wellness in life. You are going to enjoy the protection of life. You are going to enjoy the power of life. You are going to enjoy the satisfaction of life. This all that you are looking for is a package in Jesus. It is in following him. 
It is in walking in the light. It is in throwing away your sin. Throw away the charm. Cast away the idols. Set them on fire. And come over to a new person. Come over. It's like blind Bartimaeus. Born blind. Had been a blind man. Had been living in darkness. Not seeing people. Not seeing his environment. He had Jesus passing by. And who is, why am I hearing noise? Jesus of Nazareth. The, the Christ. Christ yeah. Messiah of mankind. The Savior of the world. Is the one passing by. Hey, hey, hey. I have heard of him. He's passing by me here. Now, now, what a a wonderful know. privilege. Jesus, the son of David. Jesus, David. Have mercy on me. Thou son of David. Have mercy on me. You are going to cry out to him today. He will change your life. You are going to cry out today. He will break the power of Satan in your life. You are going to cry out today. Peace will come. Jesus stood still. Jesus. I said, call him to come. If, if they tell you that the governor is calling for you, how would you feel? That the governor has had that letter you wrote. A contract wrote what he wants to do in the state. A proposition. He said he, he feel that he was going to do dual carriage way to this to this place and the governor said tell him to come how will he feel he will be jumping <laughs> jump i say you jump because jesus has said come i'll handle your case Jesus he is the light of life. I am the way. I am the truth. And I am the life. That talks about the life of God. It's eternal. Forever and ever. If you follow Jesus, you shall no more die. In hellfire, you will live like God forever and ever. God is inside a vehicle going forever with all pleasure. He said, Come and join us. Come and enter. You will not enter. You will enter. Come, I will give you eternal life. So this is the life you will have. If you come to Jesus. Now, finally, in John chapter 12. John, I read. Chapter 12. Yes. In verse 35. To verse 36. Then Jesus said unto them, Yet a little while is the light with you. Jesus, where is he? Now, one went here. Walk while ye have the light. Lest darkness come upon you. For he that walketh in darkness knoweth not whither he goeth. Verse 36. While ye have the light, believe in the light that ye may be. Child, the children of life. Now, listen. Greater sins are coming into the world. Greater wickedness is coming into the world. 
You think that your children are doing evil. They have it's 10% evil they are doing now. You think that women are exposing themselves. It is at the level of 10%. A time is coming that the woman will move naked, clearly naked to the market. A time is coming. Okay, you will find a man and a woman sleeping with themselves just about the, the, the roadside. At that time, okay. the darkness of Satan will be great. Repenting will even become difficult for you. Now, that you can hear about Jesus. Handle, believe now. Believe him now. Otherwise, a time is coming you will not be able to believe. You will not even find the preachers of truth. You will read the Bible, you will not understand. It's late. It's late. I say it's late. I say it's late. And the there is time for everything. This is the time to settle your life with God. A time will come you will not find a true preacher. All the preachers will be preaching themselves and preaching Satan. You have started seeing them doing magic. There are few. Now you can find five. When there shall be 50. Where will you find life again? It is now. That's what Jesus is saying. Jesus Yet a little while is the light with you. Yet a little while is the light with you. How long will we be here? How long will you continue to be hearing this type of preaching? Take advantage now. Settle with God. Take advantage now. Because Jesus said it. He said it. Walk while ye have the life. Now this comes to you, children of God. These doctrines of righteousness you are learning. Grab them well. And walk in them. A time will come. Human beings will not accept them. Your neighbors will not accept them. Your children will not accept them. All will be for certain. You will be discouraged to continue in them. But if you can fortify yourself, now, that is why the Lord said to Elijah, I gave you food to eat. Eat again. Because the journey is far. You should not faint on the way. Grab this thing. Do your restitution. Settle with Jesus. And be clean. Do it now. Otherwise. Soon. You will not be able to do it. There will be hardness of heart. Your very heart shall be hardened. Your heart shall be hardened. It shall be as though the devil, the devil poured chemical upon you. You won't know how you just close down. You are in the light for a little time. Walk while you are in it. Believe in the lie. The word of truth I've given you is the lie. And it speaks about Jesus, the lie. Believe in Jesus. And walk in him. The Lord 
bless you. As you listen to this, as you take it, let it be your wisdom. Let it be your understanding. Let's rise up upon our feet and go before the Lord. Yes. It's wisdom and understanding. To you, when must you perish? When grace surrounds you like this. Accept it. You may not find it again. You may not find it again. It's too late for many people to go to school now. Because by reason of their age, they can't go again. The time they needed to go to school, they didn't go. Now, they see the value of school, but they cannot go. Let it not be you. That salvation is denied you tomorrow. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Tell God, if I don't do it now, I may not find the time again. Now that the light is shining, walk where there is light. Get the light for yourself. Nipa will take away the light. Nipa will take away the light. Then, how will you walk now? Since you need the light, you if you, you bring the dark man. But now that the light is shining, take it. Receive it. Receive it. Walk in it. Worship you, Lord. Worship you, Lord.